And Mike, and you mentioned uh, GSP possibly going up in weight if you two fought. Did you see uh, how great Hendricks looked against uh, Hector Lombard first fight at middleweight? I mean, that might actually yeah. help GSP. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, I mean, uh, I'm a fan of Johnny Hendricks. Who doesn't like Johnny Hendricks? And I detest Hector Lombard because he's a little shit. So um, it was it was nice to see Johnny Hendricks beat Hector Lombard. And yeah, I I, I thought Johnny looked. Uh, better, you know, he utilized some good footwork, and you know, this is too small. And listen, let's be honest: Johnny Hendricks versus Hector Lombard was too welterweight fighting at middleweight. It was like Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor fighting at welterweight. You know, it was, it was the same thing because they're both they're both welterweights. Let's be honest. Uh, Johnny won. I thought he did a good job. Hector's a dangerous opponent, and uh, I was just happy to see Johnny Hendricks get a win. And, and I, I would be, uh, I'd be, I have to ask you, of course. Now, what, what is it about Hector Lombard you don't like? I've never heard this. <laughs> No, listen, Hector Lombard's a piece of shit, you know, I mean, what can I say, I mean, just, you just take one look at this guy, and you know that he's a scumbag, um, and several times over the years, my interactions with him, we've nearly had multiple fights, when I fought Luke Rockhold at UFC 199, when I knocked Luke Rockhold out in the first round, and Hector Lombard got knocked out against Dan Henderson, yep. at that fight, in the lobby, after the weigh-in, I nearly got into a fight with Hector Lombard, he's walking past, and I say something, and, uh, and and I said something like, you know, he, he made a remark and I said something joking. And he turns around and he's coming at me and he's, he's calling him and I'm having to hold him back and this and that. And I'm saying, look at you, you're pathetic. I said, you're going to fight tomorrow. You're trying to fight me in the lobby. Wait. Get a grip. You know? wait, wait, wait. the case, I've got the brain. I, I, I don't care for that guy. No, wait, hold on. Now, listen, I know you, you said, ah, oh, you said a little something. Yeah, come, wait, wait, right. come on now, Mike. <laughs> listen, champ. What, 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 did, what you did you say? You, <laughs> well, come on, what, what did you say? No, no, I was walking by, and as I say, several times we've had interactions. And as I walked past, he looked at me, I looked at him, and I went, ah, oh, this guy. And that's all I said. All I, said. <laughs> I said, ah, oh, this guy. <laughs> and then he kind of stopped, and he turned around and said, what do you mean, this guy? And I'm like, you know, this guy. <laughs> and anyway, there you go. So it was me, and basically I started him, annoying self that I am. So you were just being a little annoying, he actually wanted to fight over it. Ah, this guy. Um, I'm mocking him. <laughs> you, you were just fucking with him. And uh, you must have seen uh, Jacques Ray looked really, really good against uh, Tim Bosch. I mean, I mean, you're, really, you're at the head of a very, very brutal division, man. There's nobody easy yeah, in that division. Yeah, but, but I, the division's getting easier. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jacques Ray, if you look at him, he used to have boulders for shoulders. And now he's got like, some like, little, you know, he's, he's looking like a skinny, frail old man in there. You know, he, he fought Tim Bosch, and yeah, okay. You know, he got a submission inside the first round. It was a very nice submission. The setup was nice. Boge went to scoot back to his feet and he took hold of the wrist and, you know, snapped on a nice Kimura. Uh, you know, fair play, well done. On the feet, he looked terrible. He was so robotic, so stiff. And as I say, he's the incredible shrinky man. He's getting smaller and smaller, as is Joel Romero. So that's what I'm saying. This division is just getting easier and easier. The more time passes, the more time the steroids are out of the system, the easier these opponents are going to be. Uh, but listen, you know, J J Jack Array's right there as well. He's another guy. I would love to fight Jack Array. I would love to fight Yoel Romero simply because, you know, they deserve it, I guess. You know, in a roundabout way, they do deserve it. And I'd like to test myself against them. You know, I find it, I find, for one, I, I find it refreshing that he wears his heart on his sleeve. Yeah. Everybody gives a normal, oh, well, I respect this one, but yada, yada. He just, ah, oh, that guy's a cunt. Yeah. He's like, Yo, that's what I like. Nobody will ever say, what do you think Michael meant by that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never called Jack Ray a cunt. No, no, no of course. No, you didn't call him a cunt. I don't even know if you said cunt. Did I say cunt? Yeah. All right. You know what's so awesome? I see you, I, I see you on Instagram with your boy. And uh, I remember when you had him in the, in the cage in England or Manchester. I forgot where you were. But you were... Uh, you were so, yeah. and you were having him in the cage with you, and he was up to your waist, and now you're up to his shoulders. That's why yeah. you got a big boy now. He's all grown up. It's amazing. Oh yeah, no, no, he's doing amazing. He's uh, he's wrestling. He's doing jujitsu. He wrestled at one ninety five oh, uh, this past oh, weekend. Of course, I fight at one eighty five, and, and he did really, really well. So uh, yeah, no, he's growing up fast. Yeah, man. Soon you're gonna be telling him to put out the garbage, man. That'll be a, you'll be getting ready for your fights, right? I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> these, these, these new millennials are lazy fucks. What can I say? I tell him, you know, I say, take out the garbage, do this, do that. He says, Dad, you don't do anything in this house. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>
That's great. All right, well, before we let you go, Michael, how, how long are you, uh, you going to be laid up for? And how, when are you going to be able to get back into uh, to training? Yeah, well, well, here's the thing. I mean, I'm my own worst enemy at times because a week after having the surgery, um, I was actually sparring with Kendall Grove. Kendall Grove uh, was staying at my house because he had a fight coming up, and I wanted to help, but, of course, I get bored. So it was like eight, nine days after the surgery, I went in and did some boxing sparring, and the next day, it was, you know, my knee was killing. So I, I rested for a few days, and then I went and did some bag work, and then the next day, it was killing. So I've been taking two steps forward, one step back, and uh, just a second ago, my doctor sent me a text message. I've got to go and see him today. So um, I guess I'm just going to be, I'm just going to rest and stay off it completely because I, you know, I'm going out of my mind now. It's been three and a half weeks and I'm just sitting in my ass, <laughs> sitting in my house, getting fat, uh, eating crappy foods because I'm bored. So, sure. um, you know, so I'll make a couple more weeks and I'll be able to start proper training. But the pain is still there. It's, it's still kind of painful. But early summer, to answer your question, early summer, I'll be back in there for sure. All right, well, we're looking forward to seeing you, whoever you fight, whether it's GSP, Yoel Romero, the winner of uh, Weidman Musasi, whoever it is that you fight, I'm looking forward to seeing we'll you. We'll be watching for sure. Hey, hey, Absolutely. hey, Matt, real fast. Yeah. What's going on with Weidman? Why is he fighting Musasi? Why? I don't, I listen, the guy called him out, man. Weidman's cut from that same cloth. He's like, you mentioned yeah. my name. You better fucking show up. Why yeah, fair enough, fair enough. You gotta, you gotta respect that. Fair enough. Yeah, man. The guy, you know, he mentioned his name. Sure. He mentioned he was ducking him, and Wyman, Wyman got wind of that and said, "Yo, man, fuck that." That's the difference. He wouldn't yeah. say it like me, like that, because he's such a respectful guy. <laughs> no, yeah. but I'll, no, I'll, I'll say sure. for no, no, no. But yeah. I'll say for him. No, good for Chris. I've always been a fan of Chris. I know we can't stand my guts these days. I'm yeah, all the best from me. Yeah, well, I mean, listen. I mean, Masasi is definitely a, a quality, quality guy, and uh, you know. Take this guy out. He's right back in the mix. So, so you hey, know what thanks. I do? What's Someone up? calls me out. I just pretend I didn't hear it. And I just. <laughs> <laughs> I lost you again, but uh, I'm back. I'm back. I can't remember what you said, but I'm assuming you were wrapping up the interview and saying, "Let's lose this. Uh, let, let's get rid of this Brit." No, we love you, man. Um, we, we we have to wrap up. But anytime you want to come on, yeah. you're one of my favorite people to have on. You're so honest. Uh, it's so so refreshing. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I can think of nothing better to do on a Monday morning. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, heal up, and uh, we look forward to seeing you fight again, man. And I look forward to seeing you uh, in person. Got it, guys. Take care. All right, take up. care, Michael. Later, man. All right, Mike. Middleweight champion Michael Bisping, really entertaining guy. Listen, man. <laughs> that is. Listen. Give me that. Then the same old boring. Just the right people that try to give the right answer. Oh, like Derek shit, Lewis. Dude. All he does is the right answer. <laughs> Holy shit! I fucking love Derek Lewis. <laughs> That, that I give me that I you don't have to agree with it, but it's just it's so it's refreshing in a in a in a, a world today being so PC and being so whatever. Speak your mind, people. Before, we, before we wrap up, one thing we wanted to mention, Chris. We did mention it though. Chris wants us to mention about the Johnny Hendricks fight. We did talk about that with oh, Bisping. Did, did we talk about oh, how good he looked against um, I, I Lombard? Was, yeah, I was really happy. For me Johnny. too. He's such a nice guy. Oh, what a nice guy! And afterwards, I saw a clip. I, I, when did I see this? I saw a clip of the post fight thing, and he's, and he's Johnny is such a nice guy. Where you could tell how happy he was. Where he was he was answering a question, and our cell phone went off. He goes, "Could you shut that phone off?" He goes, "Oh, I'm only kidding. Oh, I'm only kidding. Oh, I told you, shut the phone off." And he's laughing like slapping his knee, and he's he was just so happy. And as and Chris, now I feel like I know the guy from being sure. on. I was so happy for him. Man. Well, it's weird. It's like you can never just look at somebody and know. Like when you look at him <laughs> at the way in next to Hector Lombard. I mean, Johnny Hendricks is a right, he's a big guy, wrestler yeah. body, but glasses on, a little beard, a couple of gray. And Hector Lombard looks like an action figure. No, he looks like a He Man figure. He for sure. he literally looks like you created him in a lab. He's a perfect physical specimen. But Johnny's it got oh. that, and he and Hector went for some beautiful takedowns that Johnny just took away. And the one time he got him down and almost got his back, Johnny just got, it looks like a gorilla. That was the third round, right? He I think just got was... out and said, oh, you know what? He, it was almost, he's like, nah, fuck that. He was a little slippery. He, like, yeah. he stood up, the guy fell off him, like, jumped to his feet. <laughs> it, it almost just took, it, it was so cool the way he just got out of that, that it just took away everything the guy did to put him in that position. Yeah, I was happy for him. <laughs> I was so happy He had lost, Johnny. what, three straight or something? He was, he was, in, the, he was he, in a tough way you know, there. Johnny in this division... It, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting because he has to fight. This was the most he looked like the old Johnny. Yeah, because I guess the weight thing really was killing him, and uh, he's gonna be undersized to some people. 
butt. He's got power. He's explosive. He's going to be hard to get down and keep down. I'm interested to see what he does in the middle. Well, they raised a good point about his reach, too. He's going to have the the shortest. They, they were like, that doesn't mean too much. Right away, I get defensive. Yeah. You know, when I put GSP, when I put GSP, the, I, I, they, I remember they were doing the stats, and then and they, they, they went over the reach, and every, it was just getting worse and worse. Well, how much reach did he have on you? I, you'd have to look that up, Chris, the producer. But it wasn't that. But it doesn't mean shit when you work your way inside. That's when he's going to be in trouble. That's when he was in trouble. Well, I mean, it all being said, no, but.